Hey guys, what's up? Uh, so, Pat Denizio, the lead singer, main songwriter, and guitar player for the band The Smithereens, passed away last week. And I wanted a little. I wanted to talk a little bit about their music because I was a big fan. And his death has kind of flown under the radar because people don't really know who he is. So I want to talk about it a little bit. Uh, the Smithereens were a band. They came out in the early 80s originally, and they were a real rock and roll band. Kind of, they grew up with bands like The Who and The Beatles and stuff like that, and that's what they that's what they did with their music. They I think they released their first EP in 1980, another one in 83, but their first full-length album I don't think came out till 86, especially for you, which is a great, great album. Uh, it's come out that in Kurt Cobain's journals, he's written about how much he likes this album. And they were really a, a band that was ahead of their time. Uh, they never really made it big commercially. Uh, I saw a documentary on the Ramones once, and someone said that the Ramones made hit after hit after hit. It's just that nobody bought them. And... That's kind of what I think of the Smithereens. They just came out with so many songs that should have been big hits that just weren't. And they were mainly ahead of their time. If they had come out early 90s, the height of alternative rock, and th I, th I think they would have really made their mark. But as it is, as long as the same with bands like the Pixies, uh, a band like the Pixies, bands like, band like the Smithereens, they... They were a little early as far as the alternative rock thing, but they did influence the bands that ended up getting big, like Nirvana and bands like that. And it's just a shame that they never got their due. But I remember when I was a kid, uh, their videos would come on sometimes, mostly during like shows like 120 Minutes, stuff like that. And it just was late at night and showed stuff you... It wasn't popular enough to show during the day, like alternative stuff. Bands like REM were on the, on their back then, because believe it or not, they were uh, not very popular alternative band in, in the 80s. Bands like the Pixies, stuff like that. And I always looked forward to it. I had a cassette tape of Green Thoughts when I was a kid. I think that was their second full-length album. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but just a great album. And... If you're really into that kind of stuff, check them out. And if you're not, just check them out anyway. You might like some of their stuff. Really good. Uh, some songs I can recommend. Uh, Blood and Roses. Uh, one of some of my favorites. Blood and Roses. Behind the Wall of Sleep, which isn't the Black Sabbath song. There is a Black Sabbath song called Behind the Wall of Sleep. It's not a cover of that song. Only a Memory. House We Used to Live In. Um, uh, what's that one song? Uh, Drawn in My Own Tears, A Girl Like You, Blues Before and After. Uh, I know there's a real early one that I really like. I can't think of the name of now, but trust me, their stuff's really good. And if you like rock and roll, check out The Smithereens. And that's really all I got to say about it. Um. So rest in peace, Pat Denizio. Your music is really good and deserved more credit than it ever got, really. So that's all I got to say. Check out The Smithereens. Listen to Pat's voice and his, his songwriting. He's really good. So have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you later.